James 4.4 4. You adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity towards God? Enmity with God. Meaning, if you are a friend of the world, you're an enemy of God. You cannot be a friend of the world, friend. That's James 4.4. 4. And this is Steve Camera, your mobile teacher. Welcome to our series, The Three Enemies. And we're in part one. We'll have a couple of uh, sermons, short sermonettes here in regards to the world, the flesh, and the devil. Today we're talking about the world. What is the world? It's the world. It's this earth. It's the system that we live in. It's the country that you live in. It's the country that's next door. It's the whole people of the earth and how they uh, work against God without God. So it's hard to say, in, especially in today's world where everything uh, is inclusion and Christians are more and more uh, becoming uh thwarted are more and more becoming attacked and more and more becoming um we're going through tribulation even though it's not the time of the tribulation we're going through more and more suffering as christians because the world hates god and god lives in us so how do we hate the world god says that he loved the world jesus died so that he died for all those that are in the world, that they would come to repentance and receive him as Lord and Savior. So yes, we love people, but we do not, we do not give in to, nor do we subscribe to the ideas, the mentality, the world mentality. We do not subscribe to that, and we don't flow with the flow of the world. We are show, sojourners, pilgrims here on this earth. And so, yeah, people are going to know you're different when you're a Christian because they're going to understand we don't give in to the, the world's devices and the world's vices. The enemy, uh, the devil, owns this world. He's the little god, the Bible says, of this world, the god of the little god of this age. And, you know, he, he got it because it was forfeited to him. It wasn't because God gave it to him. It was because Adam and Eve fell. It was because, you know, sin came into the world and therefore now the devil has just a little bit of a foothold on, on this world. But it is not permanent, folks. It is not permanent. God has bought back his children, all those that will come to him. He has bought us back with the precious blood of Jesus. God has bought us back. And so if we receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior, then we are no longer, no longer enemies of God, but now we are children of God. And so we must keep separate from the world to a certain extent. Uh, some people take it a little further than it needs to be. You can't be in the world and of the world at the same time, but you can be in the world and not live by its precepts and by its evil machinations. How do you do that? You know, you stay walking in the Spirit. You stay focused on the Word of God. You stay, um, well, in the fellowship of the saints. You stay in fasting and prayer. Um, and, and you understand who you are as a child of God. You believe what the Bible, who the Bible says you are. And so you walk in this faith, in this world, but you do not subscribe to the things of the world. Does that mean that you don't see all the movies everybody else sees? Most likely. Does it mean that you don't go to, to the bars and the clubs that most people go, that people go to? Yeah, that, you know, where sin is, you don't go. Now, you know, we could split hairs here. Does that mean that if your family's having a family gathering and there's going to be alcohol there um, or, or there's going to be, you know, some level of, of uh, sinful behavior that, that you can't control? Look, you can't control all the sinful behavior in your workplace. You know, we're in the world, but not of it. And we can't control our environment. What we can control is what environment we get into and if we have to be in an environment, which is most of the time, unless we're in the church, and even then, <laughs> depends what church, um, we, we, we only can control our own behavior. We can only con you know, control our own thoughts. We can only control our own uh, walk with God. So walk with wisdom. Know that the world is your enemy. 
Know that the devil is out in that world and the people are out in that world and they're lost. And those that don't know Christ um, as, as their Lord and Savior, both, uh, they're, they're, they're not always aware. Uh, that the devil and the world and the flesh are, are ruling their lives. And the only example that we can be is that example. And so we don't have to be walking around going, I don't do this and I don't do that. And that's that I'm a Christian and those are things that I don't do and I don't touch and roll, you know, high and mighty. No, that's not how God wants us to be. He wants us to be love. He wants us to shine light. He wants us to be compassionate. He wants us to understand that the lost are in the world. We're in the world too. And it's only by the grace of God. It's only by the grace of God that we're saved and that this world, the flesh and the devil don't have to have power and dominion over us. And we show that by living that and then let the world, let the world know. And, and you know, when people come to a place where they, they think and they know that you're different and they want to ask the questions, testify, testify, tell them why in love, in the grace of God, that the world is not your home. You're just a passing through. Till next time, may the Lord richly bless you. Mobile Teacher out.